Hi, and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this video, I'm going to show you how to understitch. Understitching usually occurs on the facing or lining of a garment. And I'm going to show you right here. Here's my facing. It's the stitching that goes right on this facing. And what it does, it keeps that part of your garment, which is the facing in this case, on the inside of your garment. So you're not going to see it fold up or roll up on the right side. So it's not going to look something like this. It keeps it nice and neat. It also helps finish the top of your neckline or armhole wherever this is being applied. Plus you don't see the stitching on the right side unless you do a top stitch on top of that. So let's get started. You're normally gonna do an understitch when you're applying facing to your garment, such as in the neckline and armhole. So here I have my facing here, and I did it in a different color, it's the print. So it stands out a little bit from my blue bodice here, and it's a lot easier to explain. So once I've attached my neck facing to my neckline of my bodice, for prepping doing the understitch, the first thing you're gonna do is trim your seam allowance. So we don't have as much bulk that's gonna be underneath our facing. You're also gonna to wanna to trim these little notches, which we always do whenever we have a curved area, just so it lies a little bit more flat. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your facing and you're gonna press it up away towards your garment. So this is going up like this and I'm going to press it so everything lies flat. And in this particular case, we're not going to iron our seam allowance open like this. We're gonna keep it closed and it should rest right underneath our facing when we press it up. So if I feel right along this edge, I can feel the top of my seam allowance and I can make sure that it's all gonna be right underneath there. We're then going to take it to our sewing machine and we're gonna do a regular width stitch right along the edge of our seam making sure that we stitch on the side of the print here, on the side of our facing, and not in this blue bodice section. So you're gonna start here, you're gonna backstitch, a regular with stitch, go right along this whole neckline of your facing, or whatever facing you're doing, and you wanna get as close to that seam as you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this up and then take it to my machine so I can do the actual understitching, which is the stitch that goes right along the seam here. By doing my understitch close to the seam, what I'm doing is I'm stitching my seam allowance, which is under the facing, to my facing. So they're all gonna be attached together. And again, I'm just doing a regular width stitch, being careful not to go into my blue bodice piece and staying in the printed facing piece. And I'm gonna make sure to do a back stitch once I get around to the other side. After we have our understitch done, what you're gonna do is take your facing and you're gonna put it to the wrong side of your garment and then press. So we have a nice clean folded edge up here and we no longer have to worry about the raw edge of our garment. At this point, the understitch is done and you can move on to the next step of completing your project.